Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHDS-202 to input to output HDMI matrix switcher with audio extraction. This product was designed to make it very simple for you to choose between two HDMI media sources and send those to two separate monitors and decide which of those media sources go to which monitor by using the buttons on the front of the product or the included remote control. The product will support a full ultra high definition 4K media stream at 50 and 60 Hertz, as well as providing audio extraction capabilities that allows you to strip the audio from the media stream you're sharing and send that to a higher quality audio system for that full 30 year experience. Finally, the product Product also provides EDID switching to make sure the synchronization of those output streams are perfect for the monitors you're watching them on. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you all the components that are included with the kit, and then I'll list the audio and video standards the product can support. I'll take a closer look at the unit itself and all the accessories to explain exactly what they do, and then I'll come back and install the product here to show you just how easy it is to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open the box, you'll find the unit, a power supply. This side plugs into the wall, the other side has a barrel connection on it, plugs into the back of the unit, and that's all the power you'll need. Also included is an IR remote control that allows you to control all the functions of the product at a distance. There's a set of brackets that allow you to mount the product up off the ground and out of the way. And then finally, a full instruction manual that includes diagrams, and specifications about what kind of input and output signals the product can support, and information about how to install it with your own equipment at home. Now, if you stay tuned, next I'll list the audio and video standards the product can support, and then we'll take a closer look at the unit and all of the components that come as part of the kit. The product supports full ultra high definition 4K media at both 50 and 60 Hertz. It includes an EDID bypass function for perfect synchronization and can transmit full 3D content and is HDCP 2.2 compliant. Audio extraction is also provided with both optical and analog outputs. A remote control is included to make selection of the source and destination very easy. The O-Ray UHDS-202 is compatible with an array of modern media devices, including DVD players, home surveillance systems, streaming devices like Roku and Fire Stick, cable boxes, and game consoles. Inside the kit, you'll find the UHDS-202, a power supply. This is a standard 5-volt power supply. You'll plug this end into the wall. This barrel connector plugs into the back of the unit, and that's all the power you'll need. Also included is a full instruction manual that gives you diagrams and specifications for the product, shows you everything you need to know about how to use it and what the controls do. Also included is a set of brackets. You can use that on the bottom of the unit to mount this off the ground and out of the way. And also there are screws in there to attach these brackets to the case. And then finally, there's an infrared remote control that gives you complete control over both your input and outputs for all of the choices you have on the unit. And you can use this to turn it on and off as well with that button. Now I'll take a closer look at the module. The product features a full metal enclosure, which makes it very durable and also helps to minimize the chances of outside interference causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. On either end of the module, you'll notice ventilation holes that help to keep those electronics at a comfortable temperature. On the front of the module, you'll see a power indicator on the left-hand side. When you apply power to the unit and turn it on, that will illuminate. To the right of it are your two output selection buttons, output A and output B. When you tap that button, it'll switch the output A from source number one to source number two, and the same for output B. Now what's nice about that is you can actually have the same input source sent to both outputs at the same time, or you can have input one sent to A and input two sent to B or vice versa, completely depending on how you set those buttons. To the right of that is the EDID selection switch. When the unit is first powered on, it goes through a power on self test and it checks the resolution of both of the monitors that are connected up to the module. And if you have this in the auto position, it'll pick the lowest resolution that both of those monitors have in common and it'll lock that resolution on both of the outputs. If you slide it to the center, the copy position, it'll lock in the resolution of whatever monitors connected to output A. If you slide it to the right, That'll lock both of these outputs into 1080p, so you can slide that as needed to make the adjustments according to the input and output you've got connected. To the right of that is the infrared receiver. When you're using the remote control, you want to point it right at that. There's circuitry behind it that'll pick up those infrared signals and allow you to control the module. On the bottom of the product are two holes on either side that can be used with the mounting brackets to mount this off the ground and out of the way. On the back of the module are your input and output connections. These are standard HDMI connections. Input number one and input number two, these are connected to your two sources. Then you have output A and output B, and these are connected to your monitors. To the right of that 
are your audio output options, the unit has the ability to extract the audio from both your inputs and then direct that to a stereo or some other audio system that you can connect to either one of these. And you have a choice between optical or analog left and right. And to the right of that is the power input port. You'll use that with the included power supply. You'll plug the barrel connector in there, plug it in the wall, and that'll provide all the power you'll need for the module. Now I'll show you just how easy it is to use this product with your own equipment at home. For this demonstration, I have two media players over here, both of which are displaying a different image. One is an image of a laptop, the other is an image of a game console. Those are my media sources. Over here, I have two monitors set up. These are my output devices. And for this demonstration, we'll call the bottom one monitor A and the top one monitor B. Now I'll show you how all these get connected up and how you can easily select which of the input sources is directed to which monitor. The first connections I'll make are from my media sources. I've already connected an HDMI cable to the back and I'll plug these into the input section, input number one and input number two, standard HDMI connection. Now my two monitors get connected. The bottom one is monitor A, which is output A, and the top one is monitor B or output B. Now we're all set to connect up the power. I've already plugged the power supply in, so I've got a single barrel connector here, plugs right into the back of the unit. And the minute I do that, you'll see the LED come on, the power indicator. And what's happening right now is the unit's going through a power on self-test where it's checking all the internal electronics. It's also checking the resolution of both of my media sources and the resolution that both monitors can display. You have some control over what that resolution ends up being by using the switch on the front. Right now I've got it set up where it's checking the input resolution and finding a common resolution for the output. And I've already got displays up. So right now, both of the monitors are displaying input number one, which is the game console. If I want to change this output to the other media source, I just tap this button and it immediately finds the other media source and it'll display it in a second. Now the reason it blanks out is because again, it's checking the resolution and making whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. Okay, so there's the other input source. Now I'll switch to the top one. Again, just by tapping that button, it flips between the two input sources and there you go. And what's nice about this is because we have two buttons, two separate buttons, we can actually select the same image to be displayed or media source to be displayed on both or have different media sources displayed in each one of them. And it really is just that simple. We hope you found this overview of the UHDS-202 to input, to output, HDMI matrix switcher with audio extraction helpful. This product makes it very simple for you to share up to two HDMI media sources with two separate monitors while still having full control over which input goes to which output using the buttons on the front or the included remote control. The product also features audio extraction capabilities, which allows you to strip the audio from the media stream you're sharing and send that to a high quality audio system for that full theater experience. The product includes everything you need to get started and in a few short minutes with some simple connections, you can be up and running. Until next time, Thanks for watching.